The government still appears not to have come to terms with the scale of the defeat in the House of Commons last week. The Prime Minister seems to be going through the motions of accepting the results, but in reality is in deep denial. Yeah. The logic of that decisive defeat is that the Prime Minister must change her red lines because her current deal is undeliverable. So can she be clear and explicit with the House? Which of her red lines is she prepared to move on? The Prime Minister's invitation to talks have been exposed as a PR sham. Every opposition party politician every opposition party politician came out of those meetings with the same response. Contrary to what the Prime Minister has just said, there was no flexibility, there were no negotiations, nothing has changed. Order the Prime Minister was heard, and when there was noise, I called for it to stop, and the same must apply to the Leader of the Opposition. No one in this chamber will shout the Right Honourable Gentleman down. Don't even bother trying. You're wasting your breath. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. But I do welcome the commitment of that the fee for EU citizens to apply for settled status will be waived. Yeah. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister was fond of saying that this is the best possible deal on the table. It is the only possible deal on the table. But our EU negotiating partners are clear, and I quote, Unanimously, the European Council have always said that if the UK chooses to shift its red lines in the future to go beyond a simple free trade agreement, then the EU will be immediately ready to give a favourable response. The House voted to hold the referendum. It also voted to trigger Article 50. There is a clear majority of this House to support a deal in principle and to respect the referendum result. But it requires the Prime Minister to face reality and accept her deal has been comprehensively defeated. Instead, we now understand the Prime Minister is going back to Europe to seek concessions on the backstop. Can I ask the Prime Minister this? What is the difference between legal assurances and concessions? What makes her think that what she tried to renegotiate in December will succeed in January? Yeah. Mr Speaker, this really does feel a bit like Groundhog Day. Yeah. So the first thing she must do is recognise the clear majority in this House against leaving without a deal and rule out no deal and stop the colossal waste of public money planning for an outcome.